in this video i'm going to be going over the top five best coaches right now in nba 2k23 my team and at the end of the video i'll give you guys my best budget coach options that you guys can run for your squad if maybe you don't have a lot of mt to go buy some of the most expensive coaches so coming in at the number five spot it is going to be ranked from the fifth best all the way up to the best so i think the fifth best coach in the game is might might be a little bit surprising but i do think it's going to be this amethyst steve kerr now he is really really expensive he's about 80,000 mt and if we hop over to 2kdb we can see you know what uh boost he does give to a point guard to a small forward and a center because if you guys don't know the boosts are different when you compare him to a point guard a small forward and a center as well so steve curry for a point guard he gives a plus four three ball plus four mid-range plus four perimeter plus four driving dunk and a plus four ball handle now at the start of the year this was really really helpful to get that plus four perimeter that plus four three ball and that plus four ball handle but now i really don't feel like they're that necessary because if you look at a guy like don ol if we get rid of the coach boost his base is already a 92 three ball 95 perimeter 94 ball handle so he doesn't really need those stats upgraded that's why i think steve kerr is a lot lower on my list when we talk about the top five coaches in the game if this was you know week one or you know even a month into the game he was probably a top three coach top two coach but now I think he's probably the fifth best coach in the game because for a point guard at least it's really not necessary to have plus four three ball plus four perimeter plus four driving dunk and plus four ball handle so i still think steve curry is an amazing coach and you guys can definitely run him and have a lot of success with him like he's a really nice coach to have but for 80,000 mt at this time of the year is it really worth getting a plus four three ball plus four perimeter plus four driving dunk and plus four ball handle i really don't think so i mean it's nice on a guy like tim thomas i guess i mean his driving dunk goes to, uh, from a 90 to a 94 his ball handle goes from a 90 to a 94 as well so i mean it does help with perimeter defense for maybe small forwards i think on a center is probably where it's the best because for your center you're gonna get that plus four three ball so maybe you're using a guy like cream it will help him out because he does have a 63 ball and maybe using a center with the lower three ball it will definitely help upgrade them i still think steve kerr like i said is going to be a really good coach but compared to some of the other coaches that we're going to talk about in this video i do think he's going to be the fifth best in the game and then coming in at my number four spot there's definitely a bunch of different options you could go with i do think defense is very important at this time of the year and i think at the number four spot is going to be the amethyst eric spolstra as you guys can see he's going to be about 50,000 mt and he is going to be defensive orientated so if we look at his stats uh boost on 2kdb here we can see that it's going to be in my opinion at least for this time of the year it's going to be a lot better because he's going to mainly focus on the defense so he gives you a plus four perimeter plus four lateral quickness plus four block and a plus four strength which to me at this time of the year is more valuable for most point guards small forwards and centers as well maybe not for centers necessarily but for point guards shooting guards small forwards I do think it's honestly more effective to have a plus four block, plus four perimeter, and plus four lateral quickness. Because to a guy like Don Ole, that's just going to make him a way better defender. And he does get that plus four strength, which is really nice to have. If we look at Tim Thomas, for example, his upgrades are also going to be really nice because he's a good defender. But this plus four strength, plus four interior defense, plus four perimeter is going to make a massive difference. Because now Tim Thomas got 90 interior defense, 90 perimeter, 92 strength. So in my opinion, it's going to really help out guys like Tim Thomas. And then at the center position, I feel like that's probably the worst spot for a guy like Eric Spolstra. It's just it's just going to help him out on the defensive end, at least perimeter wise, because they don't really need strength, though. So the only one it's really helping with is the perimeter defense. But for me, I do think Eric Spolstra at this time of the year is just going to be a tiny bit better than Steve Kerr because he does give defense compared to offense. And I feel like right now, I would say defense is probably more important from your coach. And now for the next guy here at the number three spot, might be a little bit surprising once again, but it's going to be the Diamond Monty Williams, who is super expensive, around 100,000 MT and he's going to be our first diamond coach in this top five and he's obviously going to give a plus five boost so plus five compared to plus four definitely makes a tiny bit of difference and i will start with the center because honestly monty williams gives the best boost to a center so if we look at monty williams upgrades here we can see this is going to be really nice for a center because he does get that plus five speed which is going to make a lot of these centers super super fast for example if you give a plus five speed to kareem who has 88 speed now he's going to have a 93 for d-rob now d is going to have 92 speed which which is really nice and then he also gives a defense pretty much for a center that eric spolcher gives as well and it's going to be plus five so he gives plus five interior defense plus five perimeter plus five speed which is really really nice to have on your center so easily for the center position monsu williams is probably the second or best coach in the game because of that plus five speed and the perimeter and interior defense if we look at the small forward for monty williams 
because like I said, the boosts are a little bit different. He's actually gonna get plus five three ball, which I guess is nice to have on your small forward. Maybe if they don't have the highest three ball, like a guy like Cincy Nice Pal, for example, I think only has a, what, a 83 three ball? Yeah, only 83 three ball. So if you use a guy like Monty Williams, that's gonna get that up to an 88 and it's gonna boost his speed up to max. So I do think it's also nice on small forwards as well. We'll just keep it on Cincy Nice Pal for now. It doesn't really matter. It's the same for a small forward, Tim Thomas, Cincy, all the same, or a guy like LeBron. And then point guard wise, I would say it's probably Probably the worst with Monty Williams because it's basically just like Steve Kerr. They don't really need a plus five three, plus five speed, or plus five ball handle. It is maybe nice to have on some point guards, but at this time of the year, I would say most point guards have really good, um, you know, really good, ca uh, really good stats in those categories. I mean, maybe if you're running with, maybe if you're running with a guy like Magic, it could be really nice to have on these taller point guards because if I'm not mistaken, they're not the fastest. I mean, 98 speed is really nice to have on a Magic. Plus five three ball gets up, gets it up to a 90, helps his perimeter and his ball handle as well so it really does depend what point guards you run so i think monty williams for maybe some people's lineups could be the second best coach in the game for me personally though it's probably going to go to a guy like dennis rodman who is the second best coach in my opinion like i said though if you're maybe running a guy like you know you're running a guy like uh, magic johnson or penny hardaway at the point guard position i think maybe monty williams could be a little bit better but for me i think rodman is basically just going to be a better air expulsia if we go over to 2kdb He's going to give pretty much the same boost, I'm pretty sure, as a guy like um, as a guy like Eric Sposha. He's just going to really help him out on the defensive end. Plus 5 block, plus 5 lateral quickness, plus 5 perimeter, and a plus 5 strength. So really helpful on even a guy like Magic Johnson just to make him overall a better defender. But I think if you're running a guy like Magic, the better coach would probably, be, probably would be Monty Williams. So it really just depends, honestly, on what players you run and kind of what your play style is. But if you look at Dennis Rahman and a guy like Don Ole, it's going to be super helpful getting that plus 5 block, plus 5 lateral quickness and plus five perimeter and then if we look at you know small forwards it's going to be basically the same thing right just helping out on the defensive end and getting that strength as well so in my opinion i do think dennis Rodman is going to be the second best coach in the game but depending on play style like i said it could definitely go to a guy like monty williams in my opinion though jerry west is easily going to be the best coach in the game he's the only pink diamond coach and to get this card you have to collect all of the western conference coaches and all of the eastern conference coaches as well lock them all in you'll get dennis Rodman for the east you'll get cream for the west and then you will get the pink diamond jerry west for the uh you know for completing the east and the west as well so looking at jerry west here he gives plus six he's the only pink diamond in the game so you're going to get plus six three ball plus six mid range plus six driving dunk which is really nice on most point guards because their driving dunks usually aren't the best plus five perimeter or plus sorry plus six perimeter and plus six ball handle as well so in my opinion i mean it's very obvious it's held that jerry west is going to be the best coach in the game he's the only pink diamond he gives plus six which is going to be really nice to have on your point guard your shooting guard your small forward your power forward or your center as well so yeah guys that's going to be my top five coaches number five going to be steve kerr number four going to be eric spolstra number three you're going to be monty williams number two going to be dennis Rodman, and then number one is going to be obviously jerry west and like i said though about monty and dennis Rodman, i think you guys could definitely flop that depending on what players you do run now for some budget coaches what i would say i mean there's really no cheap coaches in the game i would say if you can kind of get a defensive orientated guy that is plus three i think that's probably one of the best things you can do or if you want to get a plus three balance that's going to be really nice as well but where's doc rivers because i'm pretty sure he's great in grind and he gives some pretty good boost as well he's 30,000 mt but that's, that's pretty good for a plus three i'm not gonna lie but yeah so i'd say for most budget coaches i mean if you want to look like really really budget you probably want to go to like a greg popovich because he's going to give plus two to the defense and he's only going to be about 4,000 mt so when you're looking at these budget coaches if you want to go for a sapphire or you want to go for an emerald i mean you might as well just go for an emerald because they're actually the same tier and then if you want to go for maybe a mike malone 12,000 mt going to get you that plus three defense i would say mike malone is probably the best budget coach in the game right now if you want to use someone for defense if you want to use someone for offense you just want to you just want to look for an uh, for a ruby coach that is probably either pace, pace and space or perimeter centric i think most of them are balanced like Emi Odoka, uh nick nurse are all balanced mike boonholzer is balanced as well so if you want to run one of those guys you definitely can as well but let me know in the comment section down below what coach are you guys running in my team right now and let me know what you guys think about my top five but i'll catch you guys in the next one peace